exercise 2-4 follows nicely from exercise 2-3. So in the previous exercise, we were tasked with creating a Python function that would create a unit vector in the same direction as some other vector that we input. Here, the idea is to extend that. So instead of just outputting a unit vector, we output a vector that is in the same direction as the input vector, but any arbitrary length that we specify. So it can be a unit vector, which would mean length one, but maybe we want a vector in the same direction, but with length two or length pi, or, you know, length one quadrillion, whatever length you want is fine. Okay, so, uh, so, so let's think about how we do this. Well, one way that we can figure out how to solve this problem is by starting with the unit vector and then just scaling it by whatever magnitude we want. So if we have a unit vector and uh, we want that to be of magnitude 4, all we have to do is multiply the unit vector by the scalar 4. So that's the key insight to solving this problem. Here is the Python function that I wrote to uh, implement this uh, procedure. And you can see that it looks really, really similar to the Python function from the previous exercise about creating a unit norm vector. The only difference is it's only two differences. One, there's a second input called mag for magnitude. And then the second uh, difference is that there is also this uh, multiplication, scalar multiplication by mag. So if we take this out, then this returns the unit vector. In fact, this comment is wrong. So this actually returns a unit vector. You can see I just copied this code. Uh, I should go ahead and change this. So by the time you see this code, this little typo here is not going to be there. So this is actually a not a unit vector, but it, it is a mag norm vector. Okay, so uh, let's see. So we're going to start by uh, testing this on a vector where it's easy to confirm. So here, this is already a unit vector. It's just one zero zero. And if I want this to be a magnitude 4, so a, a norm 4 vector, then basically th the only way that you can get this to work is for this number to be 4 here. And so that is what the result should be. So we got that. And then, uh, yeah, we confirm this here. I'm going to, let's see, let's add uh, some other numbers or insert some different numbers just to show you some variety here. Okay, so... Again, we see some tiny, tiny computer rounding error here. I wanted a norm of four, and the norm is actually 3.999999, and then one lonely little six out there. And this is just however much Python is printing. There's probably some, you know, there's going to be some other numbers here. But you can see this is essentially four with uh, some rounding error.